time this afternoon now we have five, again, short TED type presentations. Not really fair on each speaker, each speaker actually deserves more time. But it will give us just a good range of input to get us thinking. And the people know they've only got 11 and three quarter minutes. <laughs> if they see me stand and do that, just joking, just joking. But I will wrap more subtly if I think uh, I need to. Thank you. But thank you for being here. So this afternoon's session is a title of Modern Learning Environments. And part of our, our wider theme. And how many of you people did actually go past the old art centre of the old university? A few of you did? Flicking back to the, what things were? That's great. Well now we're, now we're going to look forward. But the city's been through, you know, this sort of thing before, not earthquake course. It's been through many times of, of redesign and redevelopment and so forth. And we have a unique opportunity here to, to pick up on that. And to kick it off, I want to ask a representative of, of our uh, major sponsor, Schneider Electric, Mike Hewer, to come forward. And Mike's going to talk to us. Mike's the, the general manager of Power Systems and Professional Services at Schneider Electric New Zealand. <laughs> And you, you, you will know the old PDL origins from Christchurch before Schneider um, was involved. And uh, you, you probably may not know that Schneider Electric is in more than 100 countries with more than 140,000 uh, employees. And it's the world leader in energy management. Well, Mike uh, plays an active role in various industry associations. He also leads Schneider's local education strategies which are staff-generated ways of educating young people in energy conservation, sustainability, and those 21st century issues. It can also feed right through to what you might do in a school to actually use modern technology to have classroom by classroom tracking of energy use and get the kids involved in actually um, doing that. So I've asked Mike actually here to speak on stakeholder engagement because the rebuild is much bigger than just educationists. A lot of people are being involved in that $1 billion project over the next 10 years. And I think it's great to have that, um, that broader input uh, and links between the business world and the world of education and learning. So please welcome Mike Heron. 